Alright, what up everybody? This is Ranch 5 fio Uh, pretty much is we're gonna be talking about the biggest piece of shit ammo that is out on the market right now. That is the Remington 22 Thunderbolts. Uh, pretty much is what I can tell you is these here will tarnish the cases if you shoot them. Uh, pretty much is it's just a cheap ass ammo. Uh, not very reliable uh, for pest control. Uh, best ones to use are these here the Winchester 22 hollow points uh, as you can tell these here best reliable ammo uh, pretty much is what I could tell you about the Remington 22 Thunderbolts is half the things you get in these boxes are fucking duds I mean they are duds uh, they got a nice cartridge and a bullet but if they only made the good priming inside get better uh, one of these in here, I don't remember which one it is. Uh, I've hit it three times already. And uh, pretty much it never went off. I hit it around the rim the whole time. And it didn't want to go off. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, these Remington 22 Thunderbolts. Cheapest fucking ammo out on the market right now. Uh, don't even buy these. They're high velocity 22 long rifle, round nose. Don't buy them, people, because you you're just wasting your money. Uh, if you got a few cents more, you know, pick up some CCI Blazers or some Winchesters, you know. But don't pick up these crappy 22s, these Remington Thunderbolts, because they're not very reliable. If you know what I mean. Uh, I mean CCI Blazers here, as you can tell. Those are almost guaranteed to shoot every time, I say. Uh, Winchester 22 Long Rifle Thunderbolts are always good to shoot. Very reliable, not had one dud in those. Uh, every time I pull the trigger, they've always went off. Same thing with CCI Blazers and Federals and Winchesters. All a good name bearing animal. It's not cheap shit either. Uh, but yeah, I ended up picking up these because... I wanted to give them a try again, but I pretty much just wasted a dollar sixty-nine because I had one of those ten percent off coupons for ammo. Uh, but yeah, don't even try these people because you know you're just gonna fuck yourself out of money. You know, not even worth the trip to the store if you know what I mean. Uh, what gas prices are getting to be four dollars here in the state of Indiana. You know, that's crazy. Uh, but once you get to some other states, or it's four and a quarter, you know, whatever. But, you know, this is a uh, crap ammo. But, yeah, I just wanted you guys to know that because I don't know if you watch other reviews of the Remington 22 Thunderbolts. Uh, they will jam your gun, pretty much, and everything. Uh, but the only reason why I figured out is why they make brass and the 22 long rifles is because... Pretty much as you're shooting it in a semi-automatic all the time, uh, the steel stuff hurts your ejectors, so that's why they make it in brass and nickel. Uh, that's the only reason why I think that. But yeah, just stay away from these because they're such a horrible fucking thing ever. Also, uh, if you find the 525 round value packs of the Remington 22 hollow points, stay away from them because you're just... I've tried... A couple of those at their shooting range from a couple other people. I mean, you won't be happy with these. But I can almost guarantee that you'll be happy with CCI Blazers, Federals, and Winchesters. Or any other name brand ammo. But just stay away from Remington because you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, if you have any questions about ammo, please let me know. Uh, I just kind of want to stick that out there to you guys. Stay away from Remington Thunderbolts because I don't want you guys to waste your money but if you feel happy shooting them go for it I mean I'm not gonna stop you uh, but I'm just throwing that out there because I don't want you you know because I want you guys to have a very good reliable ammo for target practice or anything like that uh, but you know what I mean so yeah uh, if you have any requests let me know uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, and yeah later